So it's been a minute since I've done one of these. Today, we're hopping into my new main. This is not a joke, by the way. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to present to you my new favorite weapon in Splatoon 2, the Sloshers. Let's check out why these weapons absolutely slay. Something, something, jump right into it. I'm not playing ranked right now. That I don't know if I want to play turf, though, if I'm being honest. Yeah, we're playing, we're playing turf. I have not played in about three days, so... Naturally, this will only go perfectly. Do they have anything that I should fear? They have two chargers, okay. Actually, and trophy's not terrible. What was the other map? Oh, it was Schellendorf, wasn't it? That's why I didn't want to play. Those are actually objectively both phenomenal maps for this weapon. This is gonna double as like a slosher guide, kind of. Um... Slosh are funny. Essentially what this weapon does is that if there's an overhang, and there's someone on that overhang, they're gonna die. Okay, so we'll only go perfectly. So yeah, what Slosher does is that uh, if there's an overhang and there's somebody on it, they're not on it anymore. Essentially, you gotta play Slosher like it has Tipper, because at the end of the day, it does. It does have Tipper. Uh, it's, it's got a big meaty hitbox at the end, you just gotta space it. And the ability to throw up on ledges with that big meaty hitbox is what makes it so good. Because it takes a lot for a lot of other weapons to like, get falloffs and stuff over ledges. But with Slosher, you just kinda hit the button. It just kinda works. It's very nice. Additionally with this- How did I- Pardon? Additionally with this Slosher kit, um, what's really fun about it is that it's very good at uh, keeping people off of objectives, specifically in rain and tower control and rainmaker. But uh, suction bomb as a how did I kill? Did I get another bomb pick? Really? Yeah, that's what Slosher does right there. So yeah, with missiles, missiles are good at dis uh, dislocating, forcing people to move. Burst bomb or not burst bomb? Um, suction bomb does the same. We don't give burst bomb to Slosher anymore. Not after the incident. I mean, we we kind of did actually. I think it's such a burst rush. Burst bomb slosher is stupid overpowered. That's why we got rid of it. I'm not here. Don't worry about me. I am here. I lied. Get pranked, bozo. Got his ass. Not even close. Not even close. So yeah, this weapon is very, very good at moving opponents. It forces them to move. If they're on a ledge, they're not on that ledge anymore. If they're on the tower, they're not on that tower anymore. If they're pushing clam basket, you're using the wrong slosher. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Dude, what happened to this game? I feel like I spent that entire game picking people on accident. How did we get here? Real quick, I guess I didn't show this off earlier. This is the gear build I've been using for Slosher. Uh, it's, I use LDE on my headgear, it's really nice. You always use respawn, you always use stealth jump. If you want to use comeback, you can, but I don't... Do I have any good comeback gear, actually? I don't think I do. I do, actually. And that's pretty good for Slosher. I think I'm gonna switch to this. So this is my gear build I'm using. I look like a Mega Golden Gamer stand. This is funny. Hi, it's me and Post. Uh, originally I was gonna include two games for each Slosher, but I looked at the footage and I looked at the fact that one singular game was three minutes and I don't want this to be literally a 30 minute video. So instead, I think I'm just gonna do one for each. It'll be the first one. Uh, I might throw in a few clips from the other games. So if there's like weird transition things and mentions to things that don't happen, that's why. It's just because I want this video to be a reasonable length, that's all. Okay, back to the video. Next, we're gonna talk about uh, our next funny slosher here, the Soda Slosher, or the Slosher Deco, not Soda, we're not on Soda yet. Slosher Deco is a fun weapon. Um, essentially, it's a weapon that should be terrible, which means the weapon is not very good, but it does some funny things. Specifically, this weapon on zones and clan blitz is really, really fun. Because sprinkle on zones is always fun, especially if you get certain maps, because you can just put it up in a spot where it's annoying to get to. But, uh, where it gets really fun is on clan blitz, because this thing has bottled. 
and the ability to poke at um, anything with more range than you from a safe distance, hot baller if things get tight, and then throw out sprinkler to just be annoying, because sprinkler's not good at anything besides being annoying, to be very, very clear. It's fun, and it's nice, and I like it. Also, why are there so many backlines in turf right now? I remember a time where it was very aggressively frowned upon to play Charger in turf for no reason. People thought Charger could tank, which is objectively wrong, by the way. If you still think that, you're wrong. Got him. See, that's what Slosher does. You see those? You see those stupid Sloshes that didn't take any skill, but I did anyways? That's what Slosher does. You see that annoying sprinkler that now they're going to have to take time out of their day to get rid of? Okay, yeah. Team, I'm going to go paint our base. You guys have fun getting fixed for a minute. Hold them back. Wall them out. It's the best part of turf, after all. Our base is not painted at all. If I die, I'll go back and do it. Speaking of which, let's go be funny. I have Baller. Baller's funny. It's a mediocre special, but it's funny. And that's what matters. Jumping Baller is my favorite thing ever. It makes no difference than exploding on the ground for the most part. Like, there was no reason for me to hop off that ledge. But I just did it, because it was funny. And sometimes it's okay to just do things because there's no shame in that. I'm not throwing in ranked right now. I'm just vibing in turf, you know? You can do stupid things if it looks fun and if it's cool. Those are the two conditions where it's okay to be a terrible team. That's actually terrible advice. Please don't do that. Like... Duh, it exploded. I can get on the sponge. I'll see myself out, actually. I think I'm gonna go. I'll, I'll see you guys later. Later, Bozos. I gotta... Wait, they did actually get around to painting our base. Okay, that's fine. The good news is that I'm just gonna come back in now. Stealth jumped at his job. <laughs> that's why I like Slosher. It's because of the stupid pushes like that. God, I love this weapon with all of my heart. We lost. We got absolutely bodied, but I don't care. That was a fun match. I had a good time. So to Slosher. It's funny. I am actually going to run LDE on this. I really, uh... We really want LDE with this weapon, and I'll explain why in a minute. It's because of Burst Bomb. I don't need another answer. It's because Burst Bomb. So to Slosher. Honestly, it probably has the best kit of the three, but it's probably my least favorite to play. It's like... It's simultaneously more brain dead and takes way more brain power than both of the other two. And it's for one simple reason, it's because Burst Bomb. I alluded to this earlier, and it's because Burst Bomb Slosher is stupid. And, uh, here, I'll show it off in a minute as to why. But additionally, Splat Bomb is good for poking, which, you know, in case Slosher hasn't done enough poking for you. I just feel like I end up playing worse with this weapon. I don't think it's any reason in particular. I think it's just that I kind of think it's too free, so let's focus in a little more. So yeah, this weapon is really fun, if you're good at it. Um, because of <laughs> burst bomb combos. So essentially, what's unique about Slosher, if you give me like two seconds, I'll build one up for you. What makes Slosher so special is that two Sloshes kill. Um, one burst bomb into one Slosh also kills. Fun fact, in Splatoon 1, Vanilla Slosher had burst bomb. This meant you could burst bomb Slosh and kill immediately, or Slosh burst bomb didn't really matter. And it was stupid. It was stupid overpowered, so they got rid of it, thankfully. And I think... Giving it a bomb launcher is a good way to, like, as a good neutral ground. Okay, well, it's a good neutral ground if you're not terrible. I should not have died to that roller there, by the way. I'm not helping my team at all. That's why. That's why this weapon's stupid, because one burst into one slosh kills immediately. Also, yeah, burst bomb. <laughs> Thanks, burst bomb. I wasn't trying to kill there, but we take those... I want to say we can run it back, but I don't actually know if we can. No, we definitely cannot. I'm so sorry. Oh, hang on. That wasn't a terrible end push. They painted their base. 